The recent launches of electric street vehicles by Jaguar and Next EV shows a close relationship between Formula E and tomorrow's road cars. But a few years ago, the term EV was somewhat of an unknown. Back then, the hybrid car was promising to be the next step for automotive development. If somebody mentioned an electric car, you'd probably think of one of these. In 2014, an electric single-seater championship launched, inviting manufacturers to drive together towards a new style of racing. I think this is one of the most exciting initiatives in motorsports in a long, long time. The time scale that this whole championship has come together is, is very, very impressive. For the first time, we go green in Beijing. Fast forward to the third season and the cars are lighter, faster, more powerful. And away from the track, things have been moving a lot faster than you might think. Tesla, Next EV, Jaguar, DS, Renault, Peugeot are all pushing their electric future. Now, when it comes to performance, out goes the internal combustion engine and instead we have two electric drive units sitting on the front and the rear axles. They have a combined output of 400 horsepower. They're going for it, man. You could tell that for sure that they know what the value of the future of electronic vehicles is and they are uh, all in. We want to push the technology further so that if more people get involved in electric technology, it's going to get more affordable, it's going to get safer, more productive and uh, hopefully better for the environment. With Formula E, you have a genuinely electric, progressive series that is furthering the development of the vehicles that we are going to be driving tomorrow. And just look at how this development is impacting sales. We can now clearly see that the world of motoring is changing. And it's not changing with the roar of a V8 or the scream of a jet engine, but with a silent, thoughtful hum.